Hi guys, so I don't have any clue what this is going to be, <laughs> whether I'm going to chat away over the next few days or whether it's a whole studio vlog. I don't know and currently I can't really plan anything. <laughs> Hi guys, so this is voiceover Maria from the future, uh, six days to be exact. As you can see in this clip, I'm not feeling like introducing myself or my business, so <clears throat> instead I'm doing this now. So hello, I'm Maria. I am the owner of Buffling Beats AT, a shop where I sell handmade beaded jewelry over on Etsy and also a second shop where I sell Czech glass beads and brass supplies. So I had a pretty rough week. I made some hard decisions these past few days and yeah, I've, I've carried these thoughts around with me for quite a while, quite some weeks, at least weeks, so something had to give and I currently feel like absolute garbage and I guess my well, ex-boyfriend does too so I really don't like this word so this is the only time that I'm that I will have used it uh, instead I would like to call him a good friend of mine we are working through a painful time right now so I would ask you to just be patient with me and my vlogs because these things need time to heal and yeah that's pretty much all that I want to say right now if you can please enjoy this vlog and if you can't I will see you maybe in a different vlog maybe a few weeks or months from now. <sighs> because everything's going to shit again. Yeah. Basically, I just have to, you know, let time pass, see what's going to happen, because I don't really know. And so I can't really tell you <laughs> what I will show you in this video, but the thing is, you know, my, my goals are important to me. And... You know, there will always be ups and downs in your life and I don't really see any use in not to not keep on working on them, even though to some people this may seem heartless or maybe like an unhealthy coping mechanism but you know I think I'm going to feel shitty about all of this for weeks maybe even months so do I really want to put everything on hold just because life happens, I don't think so. So, I will keep on making videos. Um, my shops will stay open. And everything else will happen when it's time. 
I guess. So, I'm going to make bracelets today because two were ordered. And I always make them when an order gets in because of the requested length that I have to make. So I, I don't have any ready-made bracelets lying around. So I will beat those two today. And then um, what else? I will I may start today. I mean those bracelets, they will take me a while, maybe three or four hours. I don't know. Um, I've prepared these Jasper, Jasper cabochons on felt because I want to beat some more earrings. Um, by now I've added my new bead embroidered earrings to my shop, my Raquel earrings. Um, I've in the meantime I've made four more pairs. So let me show you. So I made these with snowflake obsidian. They are black and super light baby pink. I will I would like to add them today. I don't I will not speak in absolutes for the next few days because I don't know what I'm going to do next. So I may add them later today. Then these they are made with lepidolite. They are very very dark. Um for the beads I used Matte metallic, dark blue, green, and purple. And then I would like to add these sodalite earrings. The first pair sold, so I want to add more of these. These are only blue and white. And then also these green jade earrings. They are tur turquoise and purple. These earrings, they are my most expensive pieces in my shop, but I really want to include more semi-precious stones in my jewelry because I, I love the look, especially together with the glass beads. But of course, um, yeah, they will be more expensive. Then my designs all purely made of glass and um, I would love to add two variations per stone type, you know, uh, so two jasper, two sodalite and so on. And then I also have more, I, I received more single pieces, let me show you those. Because I, last time that you saw me, I still waited for another order. And yeah. So I got a whole bunch of different ones. The problem is that the manufacturer, whoop, whoopsie, didn't deliver, you know, a list. So <laughs> I need to figure out myself what all of this is but they're very pretty especially yeah I think this is my favorite one maybe yeah so they are mostly brown and gray but very nice quality I'm very happy with these what they will become, I don't have a clue yet, but I received that order and then I also received all my Labradorite. And they are very beautiful. I got quite a few, uh, maybe 12 pieces, so I will need to do more exploring with those when 
I don't know. So for now I'm I will start on those bracelets. Oh and when the sun's out I will go out. I need a big fat dose of sunlight. <laughs> Uh, you know, get in some light, some movement. Take me back there again Can you take me back there again?
first one is done. I still need to add the extension chain. Love the greens in this one. Sadly, these fire polish beads are completely sold out and I don't know whether I can ever get them again, but that's how it is with many beads. It's almost half eleven. So almost midday. And I guess I will go out for a while. And watch the river. <laughs> but yeah. Maybe I am back later. Maybe I'm back tomorrow. We will see. See you in the next clip. So, it is Tuesday today. I don't even know what to tell you guys. Because it's far too early for anything. I think it's needless to say that the both of us had an awful Sunday and I think that's everything I need to say and I don't really want to talk about anything because it's far too early so I will just keep on working on my business, fulfill orders, and just take it slow. Those two done. Yay! It's always nice to switch it all up with some bracelets. Uh, they will go out next week. So it really wasn't urgent to finish them, but now it's done and I'm free to do whatever. I still have those jasper pieces lying around so I will start those today but I really need to restock auto French earrings because some of them have been sold out for quite a while and it's getting warm and sunny outside so 
I want to have them ready in case people want to buy colorful earrings. Uh, but I feel a little aimless. So I'm not really sure what to do with myself. And as I said before, I won't write down any list. <laughs> because it won't happen anyway. <sighs> I got those photos done. I will now upload them all. And yeah, then I can list all those earrings later today. And that's good. I'm happy with that. Uh, later in the evening, I will call my mom and let her know of the news or maybe no rather she already knows I told her this morning by chat I guess then I will spend the rest of the evening beating but just but just for myself it is Wednesday today and I'm currently working on these earrings, so they're coming along nicely. Um, when I'm done with this one, I will need to cut it out and stick it on faux leather and then let it dry until tomorrow. And then I'm able to finish them. Um, those other four earrings I showed you yesterday, those are available on in my Etsy shop. So if you're curious, please go and check them out. They are unique pieces, so I will not remake them. You know, if they sell, they are gone. I still don't have a plan. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure by now that there won't be any bead shop update happening by mid-March. Because I currently have other problems to worry about. My shops are open. I will need to pack orders later today but I will just do it later in the evening 
um, shortly before I go to bed. Instead, I would like to chat about some topics that I get frequently asked. Two questions I often get is how to start a small business or maybe also how I did it. Uh, you know, concerning all the, all the legal topics and such. Uh, I think that question is less about how I personally did it back then, three years ago. And then a second question I often get is how I come up with my design ideas or maybe more spe specifically sometimes how to choose colors, how to choose beads and, and so on. And I know I get these questions all the time and I haven't answered them yet, not because I don't want to tell you, but because I don't have an answer. <laughs> and it will probably remain for quite a while like that. So about that first question, um, how to legally launch your own business and such, I don't want to talk about it because I probably haven't done it the right, the right way. I don't want to get you into trouble. My advice usually is read up on it in the internet and then just start doing it. It really isn't that complicated. If any kind of office needs anything from you, they will probably tell you and send you letters. That's at least that's how it's working in Austria. They are well connected, <laughs> so they will tell you if you owe them money or if you need to tell them any specific information or if you need to get insurance, they will tell you if you need anything or if there's anything still to do on your list, you know, so that everything is going its, its right way. Yeah, I don't have a clue about... German businesses, even though I am German, I don't have a business in Germany. I'm here located in Austria, so I don't know how to go about stuff in Germany. I really hope that you don't, that you didn't think that I don't want to share it with you, because I would if I knew how to properly do things, but I don't. And it's fine, as you can see, because when you keep working on your business, you will find ways how to handle things and where to go and where to get information. You just need to start doing it. And then, second question, how I design jewelry. It's really not easy, because I don't really have a set way in doing things. So most of my ideas usually either come to me while I'm outside for a walk sometimes, maybe even while I'm, you know, working my, my office job. Uh, that also happens. One moment I need to count my beats. One, two, three or while I sleep. So um, it's often the case that I wake up in the middle of the night and I get ideas, like last, last night, basically. I woke up at 3 a.m. and I was like, man, that could work. <laughs> um, and then, of course, many ideas never really come to fruition, so there will be many ideas that will not work out for you or they will look different than you imagine them to look like. Maybe about... I don't even think... I think at least 80% of all my ideas fail 
I'd say. So you really just have to keep on trying and accept it, you know. Don't see it as failure, but instead see it as as a learn learning opportunity, I'd say. And it gets better, you know. You um, when you're pretty new to any creative craft and you try to hone your skills, you are very protective of your ideas and designs. I was like that when I started out beading and every time someone came along and copied my stuff and didn't reference me even though my reels went viral or no, I had a really successful pic post or Pinterest post or anything like that. You know, you just see those designs pop up everywhere. That's just how it goes and you will get angry and frustrated because you're just learning. You know, you think, oh, that, that could be my best seller or something or I could earn so much money for my small business. Um, with this design but now it got stolen and now I will need to now I need to share all those all that profit you know along those lines and I get it um, I find that it's pretty hard to work out or to to design or to create a really good design or idea especially if you feel like you don't have the skill set yet but I personally find that it's quite healthy to detach yourself a little bit from your creations because in the end you won't really gain anything from all that negative energy or those angry thoughts in your head. It, it will just slow you down. Maybe at some point you won't see the point anymore in making anything new. Uh, because it gets stolen anyway, but I find that it's it's re it's really just a question of mindset, and there are so many possibilities out there, especially for really creative people, um, and also if you combine a number of skills or crafts in a design, they are endless opportunities and possibilities and it won't do you any good to dwell on such events you know and if you're good in the things you're doing people will copy you and they will steal from you and you probably won't be able to do anything about it since that moment I guess whenever that was no clue when that was um, I detached myself a little bit from my own design ideas, my jewelry pieces that I make and also that, you know, that fear of failure, I mean, of course, fear of failure, it is hard to, to cope with and to get over, but the more you detach yourself from those feelings, the easier it will get for you to get your creative juices flowing, I don't know, you know, to to just embrace your crea creativity. So I would advise you to to think about it a little bit. Of course it's not easy, I'm not telling you that it's easy to do, but it's definitely helpful. So just like last night when I got those ideas, I will then Sometimes I will write them down. Usually I don't write things down because I never write things down. I don't have to-do lists, you know, not those which would last me for a while. Sometimes for a day I write a to-do list, but I don't have one for a week or a month or... I don't use Notion or anything. I just have it all in my head. And I usually treat my designs the same way because the way I see it is that if a design sticks with you, that's a good sign that you really like it and that at some point when you've acquired the necessary skills, you will really try to make it work. 
if it's a design that you forget the next day, it's not a good design. That's how I see it. Maybe it's boring. Maybe you didn't really like it. I don't ever write down design ideas. Sometimes I write down patterns, you know, uh, for bead counts or, of course, also uh, beads, the beads that I use, the colors and such, but not really the the idea itself. And you know, then I carry it around for a little while, think about it for a few days until I find the time to sit down and try it the first time. Because designing or creating new pieces takes so much time. Usually, for me, it needs a few days. Sometimes three to sometimes maybe 15 tries until I get it right, until it looks the way that I want it to look. Uh, depending on color and technique and bead choice and everything, you know, that you need to actively decide on. So it's nothing that works out quickly. And again and again, you need to sit down and try again, if you really like an idea. And you will get frustrated from time to time and think that you can't do it, but, but maybe you're just not there yet. Maybe you need to pick up that idea half a year later, you know, when you've gained more skills, did other things. And that's why I can't really tell you how I come up with ideas. Because it's not like I just sit down and do it. I need the right moment. I need time. I need the patience. And yeah, oftentimes I don't really have the skill set. So. I just place an idea in the back of my mind and think to myself that if I really like it, I will remember it sometime later and try again. There are such, such designs that I've carried around for a little while by now. Uh, some of them I've never really tried them before because I'm not quite sure how I would make it work. I have designs in my head that I've carried around maybe more than half a year and I don't know whether I will ever try to make them. And just like last night, I actually had quite a few ideas last night. Beats are too wide. Um, so I had three ideas last night and I will not write them down. And maybe I will try out one of them on the weekend if I feel like it. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I know that's I really didn't answer anything that you wanted to hear because I don't have answers for you That's just how it works for me and I guess every th everyone has to figure it out themselves What feels right for you and uh, Maybe even how to avoid getting too frustrated with the process of creating. I find that usually it gets easier the more you practice it and the more you are able to detach yourself from your ideas, which usually is quite healthy anyway. So, 
that's actually all that I wanted to say about this topic because these questions they pop up all the time and I'm always like man I don't know how to answer this and I don't want to ignore you guys I don't I just don't know what to tell you wow and I just talked 20 minutes to the camera I didn't even notice it but that's everything that you will hear from me today I know that this vlog is a little weird I've decided that this will become a vlog <laughs> by now I know that this vlog is a little weird it's all in pieces and all fractured but to be honest that's how I feel kind of right now so it suits me just fine it will get better in time first part is done see you around soon hi uh, it is Saturday now and my dear colleague just left who's going to help me out with taxes and stuff financial things so thank you so much to my lovely colleague who does that for me I mean of course I'm paying her for it but thank you for taking the time and taking me as your client basically so we did that this morning it is now about yeah it's the early afternoon now I'm still working on a bunch of earrings but I've decided to go out for a little while you know get some fresh air and enjoy some quiet time because later today I will need to keep on working on those financial things collect all the missing things that she needs and I want to get it done soon so that I can concentrate on a new shop update my earrings and all that fun stuff and yeah also that not so fun stuff that's going to follow very soon and because of that I just need a break I know that this vlog probably is may turn out weird and fractured but that was my week uh, I am glad that it is over the week but that you know that's just how it sometimes goes some weeks are unpredictable and you just go with the flow and yeah that was my week I just wanted to hop on here and say thank you in case you're still here yeah it would be great if you stuck around to see where this is going to go and I'm actually pondering whether I should start the next vlog tomorrow because I feel like I want to add those glass beads to my shop but that's about 50 new products and I would need to take all those product photos first and of course I also want to add four more pairs of earrings so I'm currently working on these I know this color combination is not for everyone but that is fine I think it's quite fun I love the patterning of that green jade together with that yellow it's, it's quite something but that's it for now I will go out for a while if you like this vlog if you're interested in my small business please feel free to subscribe to my channel leave a like leave a comment if you have any questions and then maybe I will see you soon in the next video so thank you for being here and I wish you all a nice afternoon, a nice weekend, whatever. And I will see you next time. Bye.